Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Sometimes people ask me about vocal warm-ups and what I do for vocal warm-ups and I can't actually answer the question very well because I love to just treat vocal warm-ups like it's a new thing every time. I don't, I don't ever do the same ones and I just make them up as I go along. I like to make them interesting, I like to make them helpful to me like you know skipping intervals and uh, singing interesting scales and doing kind of patterns that I normally wouldn't think of, being creative, all kinds of things like that. So today I wrote one for you guys just to kind of give you an example of the kind of thing that I like to do for fun. <laughs> I did write it out and it's a worksheet. It's a two-page worksheet and it's a study in major sevenths. It's also available on my website. If you click the card above my head, you can get it. The two pages, and today it's also an MP3 that goes along, like a practice MP3 of me playing piano, so that you can, uh, those of you who don't play piano, can have something to practice along with. Jacob Collier has been on my mind a lot lately. He's probably been a lot on your minds too, because he's everywhere and he's genius. He talks a lot about the circle of fifths. He talks a lot about how there's this bright side of the circle of fifths, or the, the fifths side, the sharp side, and then he talks about, or, or the major side, right? And then he talks about the other side, which is darker and fourths and minor sounding. And so my exercise today reflects that. It reflects this side of the circle of fifths and this side of the circle of fifths. I'll show you about it. Hold on a second. Okay, this is kind of the essence of what we're gonna do. We're going to hop from major 7th chord to major 7th chord, first starting in the circle of 4ths, and then moving to the circle of 5ths. Now the note that we're going to sing is always going to be the major 7th, and that's the note that we're shooting for. So other than just trying to kind of keep the major 7th, here it is, the B, and then it's the E, then it's the A, then it's the D, kind of in a comfortable range for our voices, both male and female, I would say, although sometimes it might get a little bit low um, if you're a high soprano or, or a high tenor. It might get, a, might get a little low for you, but I've tried to keep it kind of in the middle so that we're warming up the middle part of our voice, kind of on, on longer tones, which I think is nice. So you'll be hopping perfect fourths or perfect fifths, however you look at it, in this exercise, going from a B to an E, that's a perfect fourth up, isn't it? And then another perfect fourth up to an A, which is the seventh of B flat major. And then we're gonna go down a perfect fifth to the seventh of E flat major, which is a D, and then up a perfect fourth. So as you keep the, the same degree, you know, the major seventh, between chords moving in perfect fourths or perfect fifths, you're always gonna be moving the, in the interval of a perfect fourth or a perfect fifth, either up or down as well. So like I said, this one moves through the circle of fourths. C to F to B flat to E flat to A flat to D flat to G flat to B. At this point, I move toward the sharp side as we come around the circle and I change. So, th I mean, this could have been called an F sharp major, couldn't, couldn't it have? And this one could have been called a C flat major, but at some point in these exercises, I switch. So he, here you can see I keep it as G flat, but, but in this exercise, when we're doing the circle of fifths, we come around E, B, instead of calling it G flat, I call it F sharp. Just, you know, we're just keeping things even. And then I switch to the flat side of things. So, so as you move from this one, you start on a C major chord. Your, your major seventh note is the B, and then you come to an F sharp, so you're coming up a perfect fifth, then you're gonna go down a perfect fourth, to D major and your note is C sharp. Up a perfect fifth to G sharp, like that. Let's hear how it sounds. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I was playing this, I thought, this reminds me of something and I knew that it was something Donald Fagan. I'm not even gonna tell you guys what it is. I figured out what it was. It took me two guesses and then I got it. But you guys have to figure out what that is. One of the songs ends that way. Just like that. Okay. Oh, and I also apologize because I know my piano is a tiny bit out of tune. Um, okay, here we go. So you're going to sing this note, right? And you can sing it on ooh. That's a good place to start.
that's how the circle of fourths one sounds. Now let's do the circle of fifths one. to try to shoot for the note before I play it. Um, I think to me the circle of fifths are a little bit harder to hear than the circle of fourths. It, it'll, I don't know, it'll probably vary with everybody, but our ears are more used to, to moving in fourths than in fifths. And it's kind of cool because Jacob, you know, Jacob Collier talks about how, how the fourth side is darker. But I think when you play major seventh chords, maybe not so much. I don't know. What do you think? Here's the fourth side. I don't know, it's brighter for sure. I think the fifth side is brighter, but somehow you retain some of that brightness just, just by the fact that you're playing major seventh chords. And I've kept them nice and open like this. You see this? This is very hymn-like or choral-like, like you could have a bass and a tenor and an alto and a soprano, and that it's really nice uh, voicing. And I think that as you play your piano, um, and sing at the same time to do this vocal warm-up, you can feel really nice vibrations too um, by matching this note here and, and singing along. Okay, this is exercise number one. We go around the circle of fourths. So you can see we do like a C major, F major, and then this bar starts on the F major and moves to B flat. This one starts on the B flat and moves to E flat like that, and we work around the circle of fourths. Going around the dark side. The way that it sounds is like this. So we've got, we start on the major 7th, we just do a nice little scale in the key of C right up to the major 7th of F major, which is an E, and then we keep it for this bar, and then we do it again and we go up to the major 7th of B flat. We keep a common tone. We don't want to go too high, I'm not, um, I'm not, you know, really warming you up. So. We're going to drop an octave and keep it nice and comfortable the whole time. So as we get to this one, you have to hear that A and you have to drop it an octave. Can you do it? And there's our next one. And then in the key of B flat, we work our way to E flat, to the major seven. And then in the key of E flat, we work our way to A flat. All the way around. This is kind of a way to ease you into being able to hear those jumps, to being able to go to being able to hear them. You can kind of use this as like a, a helper or a crutch so that when we're doing that other page where there are the skips, maybe you can even hear this in your mind. You know. And it can help you to get those skips so you can become very familiar with your perfect fourths and octave drops now and some perfect fifths as well. I love, I love to do it this way too because it's just so beautiful and melodic, isn't it? It's not, it doesn't feel like an exercise. It just feels like you're playing something that's really, really nice. So here's, here's the circle of fifths one, number two. That's how that one sounds. So you're starting on the seventh degree, just like always, ending up on the seventh degree, and then we keep it, just like we did in the first exercise, but now we're circle of fifths, the bright side. Do, 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 do. So we're kind of outlining this C major seven chord, seven, one, three, five, and then new seven, right? And then we can drop it an octave. This is where it might get a little bit uncomfortable for uh, tenors because a, a low F sharp is pretty low. So if you'd like to keep it up here, you totally can and go and, and then you can drop to here. Up to you, up to you. But for women, it's drop at the octave and all the way around. And in just the same as the first one, you know, the first thing you hear will be this exercise, me playing all of this, just what's written along. 
And then the second thing you hear is just the jumps, right? And you can kind of hear these in your head as you do the circle of fifth jumps on the other page of the PDF um, or screenshot as it may be. So that when you do these jumps from B to F sharp, maybe you can hear this little outline in your head and it can get you there like a little crutch. But your crutch is a melody. Uh, that's beautiful. I think it's, I think it's awesome. Work your way all the way through. And there you have it. Now this is the basic idea of my warm up. If you purchase the MP3, this, these exercises are the first things that you'll hear. You'll hear me do a count off and then you'll hear me first play these exercises just like this. And then, and then, you know, I do the whole thing and then I move on to number two. like that. And then the next thing that I do is skip to the other page of the worksheet where we're just doing just like this. So what I'd like you to do is to just sing along in the first part of the exercise with me, you know, and just go Another nice syllable I think that works on these is and it kind of, you know, reminds me of uh oh Pat Metheny or something. Um is just to go Hey, ah, hey, ah. to say hey ah. um, I think it's warm and, it, and it'll just get you opening up a little more so I, I think it's nice to start with an ooh I think it's nice to move to a hey ah. what so then the next thing you'll hear is you know this one and then we'll move through the circle of fifths and and on those, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try to jump the gun, try to predict the next note. So when this is your major seventh note, uh, uh, I'd like you to hear the, se the seventh of the F7 chord before you actually get to it. And then I'd like you to hear the seventh of the B flat chord before you actually get to it, which is down here. Uh, and then the seventh of the E flat chord, which is here. And then the same in the circle of fifths. You just barely try to predict it so that you're actually sounding like this. Uh, uh, uh. With my recording, you know, with the MP3, you're just barely jumping the gun. Then the last thing I do on the MP3 is I do the exercise again, the one that was like this. But I just play the left hand for you so that you can sing by yourself. And then the and then the one that goes around the circle of fifths too, which I actually haven't played for you yet, goes like this. So you're gonna or if you would like the hey ya, hey. time like that and that's all it is so this you know the second time I'm just playing perfect fifths with my left hand so that you are moving through these tonal centers I think it's wonderful for ear training all right everybody thanks for being here with me today I had a good time showing you about these major seventh vocal exercises don't forget if you'd like to get the worksheet and the mp3 you can click on the card above my head also don't forget to subscribe there's a little circle above my head as well and you can click that to make sure you never miss a video I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music